We're no longer seeing any unusual fluctuations now. Good job. You should have successfully prevented a potential TD outbreak. As you requested, I compared the fluctuations with those of the previous outbreaks, and I did spot some similarities. Thank you, Mordefi. I'm not done yet. Thank me later if you must. Though there are some similarities, they aren't identical. I'm no expert in this field, and I can't give you any definitive conclusions yet. This is the frequency sample I've recorded. Frequency sample from a sonorosphere. I'll deliver it to a colleague. It's in better hands with her. It's someone you know, Baija. She specializes in echoacoustic research, and the sonorosphere is her field of expertise. Yes. Whatever you do, please keep it safe. What now? You don't trust me? I trust you as always, Mortify. But this sample, it means a lot to me. Rest assured, you should know how careful we are with our samples, especially such a valuable one. This should be our wake-up call. The wave-worn phenomena is more complicated than we thought. It is a wake-up call. And it may also hold the answers we've been searching for all these. By the way, the Riverside Games people were looking for you, GM. Probably wanted to discuss holding the event again at a later date. Sure. I'll go talk to them once everything is settled here. Now, if there's nothing else, I'm going back to my lab. Rover, there is a place I need to visit. Could you come with me? Thank you. I need to pick up something first. See you at Nell Square. something I wish to do with you today. A seed. This is the seed of a resilient type of flower, which I asked the Academy to help me breed years ago. From here, you can see all of Jinjo City. I thought, those who died for Jinjo would want to see how it's thriving now. This flower, we named it the Amordia. Yes, the word represents both departure and return. Yes. I know there's nothing we can do to bring them back. But for us still living, we need something like this to hold on to. Thank you, Rover, for finally bringing them peace. Now they no longer have to fight. And this is why I believe you should be the one to plant this seed here. Thank you for your concern. Every Midnight Ranger is prepared to die on the battlefield any day. I know this all too well as their general in command. Helping the souls of our fallen ones return to their homeland. This is one of the few ways I can honor their sacrifices. Rover, I have one more request. If one day I perish in battle and cannot return home, could you please plant one of these flowers for me?
Thank you, Rover. Rover, I heard you'd return to the city with General Jian. Ah, oh, what a relief. I am beyond happy to know you're all safe and sound. There is something I forgot to give you. Let's meet up somewhere when you have the time. Greetings, Rover. You see those fish? They look so happy in the safety of their pond. Happiness and safety often come at a cost, whether it be for fish or people. And if we don't feel the weight of that price, someone else is carrying it for us. 10 years. <laughs> How time flies. I coordinated the Riverside Games that year, too. Dozens of teams competed that day, and the race lasted well into the afternoon. The sunset was so beautiful. Like what we're seeing now, it was so tranquil. That team was thrown together last minute, and nobody thought they could win. They even stumbled during their first exchange. But then, the team surprised everyone with their final runner's expert gulp of handling and victorious finish. It was truly a race to remember. <laughs> yes. I still remember how excited those kids looked. Just like how you looked in this photo. We were worried we weren't going to get a photo of you all together. Luckily, the photographer managed to capture a shot of the whole team. I should thank you for bringing that team together, Rover. I'm planning to talk to Jian about hosting the Riverside Games another time. If all goes well, please join us. <laughs>